Uh, my name is Jack Davis. I'm the design director at 745 Studios. From the beginning of development, story has been very important to us um, in the game. We wanted to make much more than a performance game. We wanted to um, establish a world and a brand that people could get immersed in and learn its history and its characters and after playing the game want to learn uh, much more about the world. The story is very important um, as you're playing through the game, as you're playing through um, the adventure mode which is called Unite the Clans. Um, what, you're, what you're doing in the gameplay is directly tie, tied to how you're affecting the world and um, how you're bringing um, the world together. The premise behind Ohm is that what if there was this world very similar to our own but in addition to this emotional power, music had um, a real physical power that people could use music to manipulate the environment, to change nature or alter the weather or enhance your own physical or mental abilities. And then what would, what would that have done to shape that world, its history and its people? The people in this world who can manipulate Mojo are called rockers. And so a rocker is not just, hey, someone who rocks, who plays music, They're, it's actually a title. And rockers are agents of these musical clans who serve their front man, who serve their clan with the power of music. The headliner is um, an, an unquestionable ruler. It's kind of basically a monarchy. And the headliner um, gets his power through um, these relics called the divine instruments, which according to the legends um, are tied back into the creation of the world itself, that these deities um, these musical deities created the world with these instruments and handed them down. Eventually, um, the headliner's power grew um, very oppressive, and several of the, the rocker clans just outright rebelled against him and said, hey, we're not going to follow you anymore. And in response, the headliner issued this Edict of Silence, which banned the rebellious clans from playing within the city. So it's kind of like making live performances illegal. Um, and so, you know, this didn't cause the, the clans to stop playing, but rather they established these secret underground venues. All the, the venues in the game have this very um, different underground, um, secretive kind of feel to them. At the start of the game, the uh, new headliner, Martin Rothschild, has just taken the reins of power. And he is even, uh, he's, he's even more oppressive and more dangerous than any headliner that's come before him and the world is in the worst state of chaos and disharmony than it's, than it's ever been in. Um, the rebel clans have risen up against him. They've been banned from playing in the city. Um, it, it seems like just everything's gonna, gonna break out into all out chaos. And um, as the player, your, your quest is to step in and um, help unite um, the people of the world, um, the rebellious clans, and, um, and see what can be done about this headliner, if he can be stopped. 